Hi, I'm Kostin Sandoy from Oxygen XML team. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can open in Oxygen resources that are stored in a remote web dev server. Oxygen provides two ways for browsing a web dev folder. The first one is to use the open URL dialog, which can be invoked either from the main menu in, in Oxygen under the file open URL submenu. Here it is or by clicking on this icon on the open URL icon from the toolbar. You will need the, the server URL and the credentials in order to access the resources. I'm filling uh, now the server URL. Make sure the server URL contains the webdub folder and ends with the slash. Now I'm inserting the credentials, my credentials. If you want to store the access credentials for further use, make sure you check the save option. To see the files from the remote folder, just press the browse button. And here they are. You see now uh, the structure of the directory listed in the dialog. And checking the auto connect option makes the dialog connect and browse the folder whenever it's shown. So I, I will check this right now. And after that, I want to select a resource from uh, my webdub folder and open it in my editor in Oxygen. Let's say Gardenia XML. The file is automatically locked for the entire editing time. You can check the locking state of a file by opening the same dialog again. So I'm doing this. And as you may see, uh, here is the lock sign a lock symbol appear on the file icon. Well, the locking information is available on the tooltip. And to forcibly unlock an item, you can use the contextual menu. But uh, I will not use this in our demonstration for today. For the moment, I continue with normal editing of the file. Let's say I insert some text here. Okay, let's say I finished my editing and uh, I want to save my file. Good. Closing the file will release the lock. So it will be, the file will be again unlocked for editing. You can see that if I go in the web dev dialog, there is no locking symbol anymore on the on the file icon. Another way of accessing WebDAV resources is the Oxygen Data Source Explorer. This is a side view showing the tree structure of a native XML database or a WebDAV folder. To use it, I'm first creating a WebDAV uh, connection by going in Oxygen's options under the preferences and uh, in the search filter I'm typing data source here it is I will create a new connection right now I will call my connection webdev demo And uh, for the connection details, I'm using the same server URL and credentials as before. And after that, I click OK. It appeared in the list as a new connection. 
and OK. To show the Data Source Explorer, I'm using the window Show View submenu in Oxygen. And from this list, I will select Data Source Explorer. Here it is, our view already appeared, and here is our WebDAV demo connection with its containing folders as well. In fact, it is, it is a tree view of the documents stored on the WebDAV directory. With the Explorer, we can create new folders or new files and manage existing ones. An easy way of, uh, of importing files is to drag and drop them from the project. So let's say I want to import the entire uh, garage folder on my project. So I'm drag and dropping it onto the data folder. Here it is. Opening uh, files is simple. Just double click the, the file name, as you already have noticed. OK. And uh, notice that uh, the same locking behavior is also available in the Data Source Explorer view. You see the the file icon has changed and it, it has a, a locking sign on it. OK. In order to create a new file, select any folder you might want and use the new action. Let's say I want to create a new file in, in the tasks. Right click on it and I'm selecting a new file action from the contextual menu. And here I can choose what type of file I want to, to create. There are many other actions you could perform, as cutting, copying or pasting entire folders or files. You can rename or delete them. And here is a very important action I'm talking about the Find Replace in File section, which allows you to find anything you might be interested in your files. For example, if I search for title and I restrict my search only to element names and click on Find All, I will get all the title elements from the files in my folder. There are many other actions and uh, many other options in Find Replace dialog, but I will let you discover them all. Well, this concludes our presentation. Thank you for watching and for other video tutorials, please visit our website.